hi all so welcome to this channel and in this video session i'll be uh, presenting this topic that is how to call procedure by pointer in early rpg or the concept of procedure pointer so for that purpose i just created one program so let me show you that so you can see uh, this program contains several procedures and let me explain you all of them so first of all uh, I defined default activation group as star node since I am using the ext proc here so I need to define this as I'll be getting the compilation error now another thing is I define the main procedure prototype and the main procedure interface that is uh, the just placement of the entry parameters for this program I can either use star entry as well but that is an old way now we'll be using this way to receive parameters to this program so this program pgm r6 will receive parameters three parameters num1 num2 and operation so this is the procedure interface and this is the prototype for the same so you can see the ext pgm is referring to pgm r6 now after this I have defined several procedures which I'm gonna calling uh, dynamically or using the variable calls way. So these procedures are defined in this program like add, subtract, multiply, divide. So they are taking the parameters by value. So they are taking two parameters 5p and 0 and 4p0 as what I am receiving from the entry parameters to this program and an operation code so operation code will decide what procedure to call add subtract multiply or divide which I am inputting from the command line and the number num1 num2 whatever I am passing will be passed to these procedures when they called now the thing here is call the procedure point pointer a variable call is show here so I have defined a generic procedure execute proc this is the prototype for that and uh, which is defined upon the execute proc pointer so execute proc pointer is defined here as you can see and uh, this pointer is the type of proc ptr this is not a normal pointer this is a procedure pointer so whenever we define the procedure pointer we are using the proc ptr with that pointer proc ptr keyword with that pointer so as you can see this is the generic procedure which is based upon the or uh, which is basically calling the procedure pointer so whatever the address of a procedure stored here in this pointer will be called using this procedure so this is now becomes the dynamic call of procedures or this is the way the procedure pointer works so how to call procedure by pointer in RPG uh, this video tells us that now the most important thing here is the whatever the procedures we are going to call using the generic procedure in our program those procedures must accept the same parameters the prototype must be same for all of them uh, there, we can have star omit or star no pass in those procedures but the parameters should or must be same now now you can see uh, this is the generic procedure which will basically call either 
add or subtract or multiply or divide based upon the address which it stores at that time so which this pointer value well procedure pointer variable stores at that time now you see I am receiving input as num1, num2 and operation code from the command line by the user so then I am checking if operation code enters by the user is a b s m or t if a then I will call the add procedure if s I will call the subtract procedure if m I will call the multiply procedure if d I am calling the divide procedure so how I am doing that basically I am using the percentile PEDDR function which basically get the procedure address like the EDDR which get the address of the pointer variable this time I am getting or retrieving the address of this procedure using the percentile PEDDR function built in function and this will uh, extract the procedure pointer address procedure address and evaluate that in the procedure pointer execute proc ptr so if a it will pass the address of this procedure to the execute proc ptr uh, after extracting it using this percentile pdr function if it's s it will pass the address of this procedure to the procedure pointer and so on so you can see that on different different condition it is passing the address procedure address of different procedures to the procedure pointer by extracting them using the percentile p e d d r and then at last it is calling that execute proc which is the generic one so basically it is not calling execute proc it will either call add subtract multiply or divide based upon the address it receives into the execute proc pointer that is proc procedure pointer now in the else condition is that we can see if the operation code is not asm or d will simply return from here now you can see the procedures add so basically add will receive two numbers and it will sum them and display the result same way it will receive the two numbers and it will negate them and the difference is displayed if multiply it will multiply these two numbers and multiplication is displayed the same way division will be happened but this will check if num2 is not equal to 0 then only divide else it will give divide by 0 situation so this this way you can either call add subtract multiply divide using the generic procedure the only thing you need to do is to pass the address of this procedure to the procedure pointer and that procedure pointer will be passed to this and this procedure will be based upon that procedure pointer this way you can uh, basically call the procedures using the pointer in RPG or you can say you will call the variable procedure you will implement the variable procedure calls in this way just comment it out just compile this just debug this call this program so you will okay you will find pointer or parameter error let me check so basically this program is accepting uh, these three parameters so I need to pass these parameters from the command line so I have to pass num1 which is numeric num2 is numeric which is packed decimal and this is the character so let me check so this is 5p0 and this is 4p0 I think uh, the bytes it could take 
in decimal is three bytes for all of them. Let me confirm. So tagged five will accept three bytes, and this will also accept three bytes. So let me call this now. So I need to pass the numeric values. So I'll be passing the hex values. So in tag decimal, every uh, byte would contain the two digit except the first one because first one would be uh, uh, containing or you can say containing a digit or a sign. So I need to pass, for example, I am passing 20. So every byte will contain two digit. So this way, one byte, first byte would contain two digits, second byte would again contain two digits, third would again contain one digit only and a sign. So sign would be, for example, I'm passing uh, numeric. So this way, the same way here as well. Mm, sorry, sign is, I'm passing the positive one, not numeric. So, for example, I am passing add right now. So, this will pass the zero value to all of them. Let me show you. You will see zero, zero. Operation code is A. So, you can see. Now I'm passing the address, I'm getting the address of add procedure using this uh, built-in function and passing this to execute proc ptr and then it will call, I'm passing these two numbers to the execute proc ptr, just take shift f10 so you can see by calling this it is to, it has the address of the procedure this in the procedure pointer so it will call add procedure it will add them so the result is 0 and it will end now I have to pass for example here I am to pass 20 and here 10 so you see I am passing 20 and 10 Currently this procedure pointer is null, so once this line executes, it will have the address of this procedure and whatever numbers we are receiving as an input from the command line, we will pass into this and shift F10, you will see add is getting executed, result is 30, sum is 30 and return from here. Now if I will pass s here so you'll see now this time it will pass the address of the subtract procedure to this procedure pointer and the two numbers will get passed let's take shift f10 so you can see now subtract is getting executed and the result difference will be displayed to you so this way you can see the variable call of procedure is happening that is dynamic call of procedures is happening using the generic procedure or the pointer way so just use m now you will see that this time multiply procedure address of the multiply procedure will get passed to the procedure pointer and it would pass those two number and now we'll execute the multiply procedure and some or you can say that multiplication is displayed now I suppose I'm passing D now it will pass the address of the divide procedure to the procedure pointer and it will execute the divide procedure using this generic procedure and pass those two numbers result is 2 so if I pass say for example 
second digit as 0 what happens it would go for divide that but it will go into the else loop and it will display divide by 0 situation now if I pass something else like H it will not pass any address of any procedure because these conditions are not met and then it will go to else part and it will display please pass operation code as ASMLT and it will return from the program now if I want to pass any other value say for example for uh, add and I want to pass let's say 1, 2, 3, 4 and here as well I want to pass uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 let's see okay let me tell you one thing that uh, since this is 4p0 say, so this would only accept the 4 digits but it would occupy 3 bytes it would occupy 3 bytes in memory but it would pass only uh, 4 digits to the just take 1 2 3 5 as an input just let me show you 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 5 it will pass the address of the add procedure and execute the add here so it will basically add 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 5 and the result would be 2469 so this way you have seen that uh, how we have called the procedure dynamically or variable procedure how we implement the variable procedure calls using the procedure pointer way uh, that is we need to create a generic procedure and pass the procedure pointer to that procedure and uh, uh, we will pass the address of any procedure which we want to execute dynamically um, to that procedure pointer and we need to execute the genic procedure so that genic procedure will basically uh, call the procedure uh, for which it is it currently contains the address for so if it has the address of add it will call the add it has the address of subtract it will call the subtract and so on so basically we need to pass the address of the procedure to the procedure pointer and then execute that generic procedure so this way we will be executing either add subtract or multiply or divide so we don't need to write each procedure every time that if in condition this we need to call add procedure in condition this we need to call subtract in this we are every time calling the same generic procedure but we are passing the in every condition we are simply passing the address to the procedure pointer and that procedure pointer is basically used here and that will call that procedure so that's all in this video i think you got the concept of the procedure pointer in rpgile so that's all thank you and have a nice time